Hey everyone, it's Justin Dorfman from Asset Mule here. I'm in Boston for Inbound 2024. We're about to go to the expo floor and grab a bunch of PDFs and turn them into personalized, interactive, and trackable sales assets that sales teams will actually use. I've got my no PDF hat, PDFs. All right, so here is a one pager that I picked up at the Grammarly booth. And we can see it's a Grammarly for enterprise one pager, uh, focusing on how teams can use Grammarly to increase productivity using generative AI while ensuring all their data and privacy is secure. Um, so as with all PDFs, it's a relatively generic one pager. Uh, it's definitely static and um, definitely not trackable. I, I don't think they're, they're seeing me uh, viewing this right now. Um, so we're gonna take a look at how using Asset Mule, we can turn this into a much more personalized, interactive and trackable asset that really drives engagement and conversions with prospects. Um, now, the first thing I noticed here is when I was building this was uh, I went to Grammarly's website and I noticed that actually they must've gone through a rebrand because the colors, the look and feel, of their website is quite different from that one pager here. And that's another downside of, uh, of static uh, PDFs is you can't dynamically update content or, um, or, or brand, uh, brand look and feel in terms of colors and fonts and so on. Um, once it's printed, it is what it is. You either wasted it, you know, I have to get rid of that old stock or you use old, uh, old colors and, and so on like you see here. Um, so with Asset Mule, as it's web-based, um, you can actually update these things more dynamically, even if the, the assets are already in the hands uh, of the prospect or the customers, um, you can push out new updated themes um, and, it, and you know, they'll see it with a new brand look and feel. But now stepping through this uh, interactive version of the one pager. So as you'll see from the get-go, uh, I've already got all the information here and generally speaking, the marketer would have set all this stuff up so uh, not much for me to update, but as the salesperson, I can really do that last mile personalization, really to, to capture the attention of that prospect that I met at the booth and drive engagement with for them. So starting top to bottom, I can add their logo. Let's say it was LinkedIn that I met at the booth. I can easily just put in linkedin.com, enter their URL here to grab their logo and pull that in. And then I've got a place where I can actually um, add a, a little message for them. Uh, you know, I can put their name in here, I have got this, I've got this sort of generic message, but I can add a little bit of uh, a touch here in terms of maybe things that we talked about with them at the booth, um, but go a little bit deeper by adding a, you know, 30, 30 second, one minute uh, Loom video in here um, that goes a little bit deeper into what we chatted about at the booth, you know, reminding them of their interest in Grammarly and um, just adding that human touch that really can increase engagement and conversions. As I continue going down the page, we'll see the logos here. So uh, it being LinkedIn as an example here, these tech logos make a lot of sense, they're relevant. But you know, if it wasn't LinkedIn, if it was a non-tech uh, prospect that stopped by the booth, I may wanna swap in a more relevant logo. So I can go into my snippet library and maybe filter by non-tech logos or another industry specifically and pull in the logos that are maybe more relevant, more credible for them based on their industry. As we continue going down the page, you'll see beyond uh, the ability to add just you know images of the product or or graphic images, I can actually include things like videos here that they can uh, engage with and they can learn more about our products and our offerings. And continue to go down the page, we've got you know I try to make a little bit less text here and a little bit more images just to keep it uh, easier to digest. Um, and then we've got the quote here, right? And again, very similar to the logos that I showed earlier. Um, this may be a great quote, but it might not be relevant for this particular prospect based on their use case. Uh, in this case, it's a brand marketing, content marketing use case that's being talked about here. Maybe the prospect that I spoke to at the booth is a uh, in customer support. And maybe I have a quote uh, for customer support that's more relevant for them. So I can pull that in. And then finally at the bottom here, I've actually, I can add my calendar uh, in here so they can actually book a meeting with me right from the asset. 
uh, really driving that conversion, making it easy for them to continue the conversation from the booth uh, to you know Zoom or, or in-person meeting or however I'm gonna be meeting with them. So now if all looks good, I can go ahead and uh, maybe sh sh save this and share it with them. Um, and I'll show you how you do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the asset. I might preview it before I send it to them just to make sure everything looks good, right? And then when I'm ready, I can go ahead and share it with them as a link, a link in a screenshot, or the most popular with our customers is this link in an animated screenshot, and you'll see why. It's really uh, interactive and captures attention. Just paste it in here, they can see the logo, they can see their name, the video, see that it's personalized for them. And then when they click through to the asset, this is what it's gonna look like. It's a live personalized web-based asset that they can scroll through and they can check out video there, or you know they can see all the content that I've curated for them. They can see that other and um, you know continue going through. And if everything looks good, they can go ahead and book a meeting with me. And what's great about all of this is everything is tracked by Asset Mule. So in real time, the salesperson will get a notification letting them know that somebody just viewed that asset, Grammarly for LinkedIn, that we sense. But then within Asset Mule, the salesperson can also see all the activities, the uh, interactions that that prospect took on the page. Not just that they viewed it, but they checked out that personalized video, they checked out that you know uh, video on the product or the offering, they clicked on the book a meeting button, whether they booked a meeting or not, you know this is an indication that they were considering it and maybe a uh, trigger to follow up with them and, and continue to, to uh, pursue that meeting. So that's, that's the quick uh, walkthrough here of how we took that generic static PDF that we picked up at the booth for Grammarly, from Grammarly, and then turned it into a much more personalized, interactive and trackable asset that really is uh, tuned to drive engagement, drive interest from prospects and ultimately convert meetings with them. Uh, so stay tuned for the next example of uh, a PDF that we picked up at the booth and how we transformed it into a more uh, personalized and interactive experience for buyers.